Hey, what's up, guys? Your Softman819 here again with another video. Um, as you can see, I've moved back to a spot where I, uh, I've done quite a bit of my uh, really big reviews here. Um, and I decided to move back to this spot because I had better room to film. So I'm back in my old spot now. I'm uh, pretty happy about that. And this is going to be my third and final Atari 2600 joystick review. And this is going to be on the Competition Pro 5000. Uh, which, in my opinion, is pretty much the uh, Cadillac or Rolls-Royce of Atari 2600 joysticks. Um, it's a very high-quality arcade-style um, joystick for the Atari. It uses micro-switches, which th this is what a micro-switch looks like right here. Um, it's a little mechanical switch, kind of like um, the mechanical switches and keyboards almost. Um, they're very uh, they're very well-made. They're very durable. And um, they're much more responsive than the contacts that cheaper joysticks use, such as the original Atari joystick made by Atari. Um, so this is not only made for the Atari 2600. Um, it works for the um, 7800 because it's got two buttons. It also works with the Commodore 64, 128, and the Amiga. Um, I'm sure there's other computers that it works with. But this is the box. Uh, this is actually the original box that came with it. I was lucky enough to get it. Um, I got it for, I think... Between forty and fifty dollars, these joysticks are not cheap, and this one costs a little bit more because it came with the uh, original box. So uh, this is what the box looks like. It's pretty beat up, but it's it's all there. So let's get the box out of the way and talk about the joystick itself. Um, it's <laughs> it looks kind of goofy, almost like a child's toy or something. It's got the bright red like Fisher Price thing going on there, uh, but it's actually a very high quality and well made joystick. Um, it's significantly bigger in almost every way um, compared to the original Atari, which I completely forgot to grab. Just a sec. Here's my original Atari joystick. As you can see, it's slightly bigger in almost every way. It's a fairly large joystick. Get this out of the way also. Um, it's got two very large buttons, as you can see, very large and red. There's one on each side. Uh, with the 2600, they both do the same thing, and I would imagine they would both do the same thing on the uh, Commodore 64 as well. Uh, so basically, any uh, game console or computer system you use this on that has two buttons, um, it'll utilize both, or if it's a console that just uses one button, like the Atari 2600, both buttons will do the same thing. Um, it is micro switch. Uh, you can tell a micro switch, uh, switch joystick apart from others by the way it sounds when you move it around. Uh, micro switch joysticks actually make a clicking noise like this, which I always love hearing that noise. Uh, but it's very tight, very clicky, and very responsive. Um, you really can't play this um, joystick like the way I like. Normally, I like to put my thumb on top. But with a joystick this large, you almost have to use it uh, with your entire hand. So I tend to just kind of hold it in my hands and wrench it around like this uh, from the top, and that's a pretty comfortable way to play. Um, I prefer this joystick on some games, although I do use my craft joystick the majority of the time because that's my favorite, uh, but particularly games where you just go side to side, I actually prefer this joystick, like uh, games like Space Invaders or Demon Attack. I actually prefer this joystick because I'm only going side to side. I really don't have to have that precise movement, so... Um, it's really good for games like that. The buttons are also fairly responsive. They don't click or anything. Um, they feel a bit loose, but they work fairly well. Uh, the cord actually isn't all that long. Um, it's in similar length to the original Atari, maybe a little bit longer, uh, but it's not quite as long as my preferred controller, which is the Kraft joystick. It uses the standard 9-pin connection, so it's compatible on many different systems. There's really nothing on the bottom here. It's held together by four screws. It's got a fairly solid build quality to it. You can't really creak it or anything. It feels really well made. It's actually made in the USA. Uh, it says Competition Pro Joystick on it. Um, and it's really just a high quality, um, precise piece of equipment. It's uh, very well made. Um, much better than the original Atari joystick because I hate that thing. And uh, I would say the quality of this even beats the craft uh, joystick. That's my preferred joystick. This is a very high quality joystick. Um, it's definitely built to withstand hours and hours of gameplay. Um, they're not cheap. Um, you would expect to pay between thirty and sixty dollars for one of these. Thirty dollars in rough condi condition. Sixty dollars in a very nice box, like new. Um, I got this one for forty because the box was kind of beat up and there was nothing else included with it. Um, but it's a very nice joystick. 
Um, it's very fun to play games with. And if if you're an arcade purist and you like to use arcade style joysticks even on your home game consoles, I would highly recommend this because it has that tight um, type of arcade feel to it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Competition Pro 5000 joystick. And um, I'll see you guys later.